Okay, so there was just another train derailment from the exact same train company, Norfolk Southern, in Ohio, yet again. Take a look at this. Yeah, you can see here, train derailment in Springfield, Ohio, sends a hazmat crew and cops rushing to the scenes as residents order to shelter in place just yesterday. That's right. Uh, yeah, and you can see a picture here of this train crash, which is literally unbelievable as this is happening. Remember here, if you watched my previous video, there is over a thousand train crashes on average per year, which is three per day. And people just don't know about this because the media never reported it because it was never a big issue. And now, I mean, look, this is literally next to a store and save. This is right in people's backyards. This is happening all across the country, guys. When are we going to do something about this? I mean, when are we going to raise safety standards? I mean, look at these pictures. Around 30 cars were derailed in the incident, according to local reports. And you can see that it's just absolutely insane. Yeah, and get this. On Saturday, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine said that around 2.7 million gallons of liquid wastewater have been hauled from East Palestine so far, according to Ohio EPA. But remember, they said the water was fine. Now they're saying they've hauled around 2.7 million gallons of liquid wastewater away uh something's wrong here <laughs> things aren't adding up this is um from the previous incident here in east palestine ohio just to make that clear and now from the east palestine wreckage they're planning to incinerate this contaminated soil and they're saying that this is absolutely horrifying and the soil is being sent to a nearby incinerator with a history of clean air violation, raising fear that the chemicals will be redistributed into the air, into the atmosphere. Once again, they're going to do this here yet again. And some of these are potentially dioxins, which are also kind of known as forever, forever chemicals, which are not fully understood and in some ways people say cannot be destroyed. So before they even know, fully know what's in this soil, they're planning to incinerate this soil and are already doing so. They're already sending it by to a nearby incinerator and once this stuff goes into the air, it just literally flies around from city to city, from state to state. And I mean, you could see here that the rail workers cleaning the toxic um, derailment site are getting sick. Yeah, so it was a it was it, it was a great idea to to burn up the to to, to burn off the the toxins that were left over from the tankers. Hey, I got a good idea. Let's burn up the soil too and let that go into the air. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Let's that. It's just That's absolute, be the cheapest way to get rid of it, absolute, right? And the problem is, is they're letting this the Norfolk Southern still continue to do anything with this. I can't believe that they can't come up with a, another way to get rid of this. They, they, that that's the best thing they could come up with. Oh, let's let's burn it to get rid of it. Yeah, let's release more of it into the air. Yeah, there's just so many problems here with this. And President Biden just came out and backed a new bipartisan Republican and Democrat-backed railway safety bill in the aftermath of this East Palestine derailment. Because remember, this is not just an Ohio or Ohio-Pennsylvania issue. This, there's a, over a thousand rail derailments and rail crashes every single year. This is a problem. It's going on over and over every single year, guys. And they're just now being brought to light because now it's all the media coverage is now happening, right? It's just like when you get a, a high profile mass shooting, right? And then all of a sudden you hear about them 
and then and then the story kind of fades away. Now is kind of like the moment to to beef up these safety standards. Remember that the former um, the Trump administration actually gutted some of the safety standards, and they also need to. They're using just decades and decades old um, braking technology, and a lot of it is because the train companies just don't want to spend the money, but. Norfolk Southern alone makes billions and billions of dollars. We covered this here in a previous video. So there's no reason for them to not be able to pay. Think about how much money they're losing when a trail, a train car derails and crashes. And, the, and just imagine the amount of money to even like lift those things up and, and pay, pay to have a train car uncrash and lift those things up and, and, and imagine what the East Palestine disaster is going to cost to clean up and fix that thing. It's it's an absolute disaster, right? But it took it took an incident like this for us to realize that oh my gosh, there's over a thousand of these that happen every single year. So hopefully this is our learning lesson. Like I said, you know, 9/11 was our learning lesson that was a terrible tragedy. And a lot of times we, we need a learning lesson like this. Remember the Chinese spy balloon was a learning lesson for us that, oh my God, we need to start monitoring the skies because there's all these weather balloons and spy balloons going up in the air. These spy balloons literally could have been carrying, they could have been carrying bombs. Who knows? They literally could have been carrying anything, right? So the, have, these are learning points for us. So I have a tidbit of information that I is completely relevant to this. I was watching Aerial America last night about Ohio. My beautiful wife over here. And who doesn't want to come on camera? No, I'm not camera ready. And um, they were talking about how in I believe it was 1960 or 70s when we were producing lots and lots of seal. Mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of you viewers know about this. How we were called the mistake on the lake because. All of the steel mills were dumping their toxic waste yep. into the Cuyahoga River. And it and caught it on caught fire. fire. Mm -hmm. And when that happened, that's when the EPA was created. Yeah. And then they cleaned it up and they made sure it didn't happen again. And that's when the EPA was created because of the people, and, the, the and, billionaire steel tycoons dumping their And their they were allowed to get they were allowed to get away with it. And they probably didn't. River. Yep. They were allowed to get away with it. And finally an incident happened and we had to push back and said that enough is enough. And now, unfortunately, we have to do it with the rail industry too. But hey, for the time being, if you got any toxins you need to get rid of, bring them over to Ohio and dump them in our state. <laughs> yeah, but but the problem is, is that... And just burn them in our state because apparently they're letting you do that. <laughs> it's, it's not even that. It's that we have to stop the 1,000 plus train derailments oh, that are yeah, happening. Uh -huh. I mean, I agree. But honestly, this burning off the toxins. That is, how is the EPA cool with that? All of this is a nightmare. This is uh, honestly, this was an accident. Accidents happen, but what what gets me is that the sheer amount of accidents that are happening. I know. And, and when it's that many accidents happening, it's it's, like it's sheer negligence. It's negligence when you have over a thousand accidents happening of of train derailments and like, crashes. Why are we all falling off the rails. Like, what's the deal? Like there, it's literally the industry is going off the rails. Like, and I quote. And they're using decades, decades, almost hundred year old braking technology. And new braking technology is out there. The train companies just don't want to pay for it. And these are companies making billions and billions yeah, of dollars. They'll cut into the CEO's the paycheck. Yeah, they'll cut into their profit. No, but they're making it. billions of dollars, guys. These aren't companies that are unprofitable. So if you don't think reform needs to happen. By all means, please let me know. But it's literally our lives and our safety, and it's just, it's just, it's just time. It, you know, just like she said, you know, the mistake on the lake, the Cleveland. You know, the, these companies were allowed to just dump oil into the lakes and rivers until some in toxic waste until some somebody made made and say we can't do this no more. Nope. So listen, it's time to upgrade the brakes. It's time to upgrade the sensors on the things so that. Um, the heat sensors are there. It's time to up. It's just literally, they just need to tuck your tail between your legs and pony up the cash. Listen, you got billions and billions of dollars. You know, you just, it's time. Let me know your thoughts.
And the other thing I don't like is that they leave the testing, a lot of the testing, up to the train company. And the train company tells you, oh, everything's fine. The water's fine. The air's fine. And then all of a sudden now, and then they say, people, it's okay to go home. And all these people are having problems, right? All of a sudden now, when we have independent labs, lab tests are finding elevated levels of chemicals and concerns in the air. So this is the problem is that should we leave the testing up to the train companies or chemical companies or e even for different industries? Should we leave the testing up to the companies that have an interest in finding the results that they want to find? They have a skewed interest in this, right? And you can see here, East Palestine updates 74% of residents reported experiencing headaches and health problems. Well, if the water was fine and the air was fine, why would that be the case? And this is the problem with letting companies like the train companies in this particular case and, and in other health industries or other uh, different type of cases, it's the same thing. What they should do is the EPA or the government or whoever, uh, it should be independent tests doing it. And then they should just send the bill to whoever caused the problem, in this case, the train company. So let me know your thoughts here in the comments. I'll keep you up to date here with everything going on here in our country on a daily basis. If you haven't yet, make sure to click the subscribe button and then the bell icon down below so you don't miss out on new videos that come out here on our YouTube channel at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. And if you appreciate these videos, don't forget to hit the like button for us. Here's some videos you can watch next. Here's a brand new video about the virus and the origins that just came out with some startling info. And here's a new video with some good information for millions of Americans and about Social Security and Medicare. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.